been a hot minute since I have done a yours clothing haul. So that's what we're in for today. Let's crack open this parcel. Hey guys, it's Becky and welcome to my channel and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. It has been such a while that I have done a yours clothing haul and they've got so many gorgeous new in for spring pieces. I just had to place an order and there were so many cute things that I really wanted to try. Uh, so if you enjoy this kind of video from plus I'm out because I was like throwing this huge parcel around. Um, this kind of video uh, I do plus size fashion beauty lifestyle chatty kind of vlogs then do hit that subscribe button down below I do upload every Tuesday and Thursday so there's always fresh content over here on this channel and thank you to my lovely regulars for joining me today do let me know down below in the comments what your favorite pieces are in this haul as well as giving this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it of course everything will be linked down below in the description box if you just click to expand it all the links will be there they are affiliate links and that just means i make a small kickback from the brand but it doesn't cost you anything extra so i really do appreciate the support if you do fancy buying anything through my links they're down there for you um i bought all this with my own money and there's definitely some things that i'm really excited to try for you today so yeah let's get into it this is a combination of two of my favorite things yours jersey dresses and paisley i've always had a soft spot for paisley i just love the kind of hippie 70s vibes um, i saw this dress and i had to give it a go because as i said i love yours jersey dresses they are so comfortable so easy to wash and especially when i'm traveling i obviously love to look good when i'm out and about on a city break or on a holiday but I don't want to think about it. So I love these dresses because they always have such fun, bold, colourful prints and they don't require much more styling because they're already quite bold. So this one is really, really comfy. It is a longer sleeve one and we do have a bit of a, a new neckline detail. I think this also came in a more kind of like orangey rust tone colourway. This one is in like an olive and mustard let me give you a close-up so here's the paisley print this is just so so comfortable guys um it has got this like quite plunging v but i think if you wanted to you could tie this tighter so it ends up just being keyhole if you're wanting to be a little bit more modest but i do quite like it having a, a little bit more open there i think it's really really pretty there is also bits of gray as well in the paisley uh, nice stretchy uh, cuffs but they're not too big i that's one of my biggest irks is when cuffs are too tight or too big these are really nice and comfortable um again the sleeves are a little loose but they're not so loose they're comical it's really nice fitting as for the length it is definitely more of like a mid axi on me it does feel quite long ideally i would like it maybe just like more of like a a midi length i am five six um, in terms of height so yeah I think it's really really cute for me though I would have thought maybe this would have come out for more of an autumn vibe but I still think it's really cute for um spring especially with the long sleeves because it's called they call it fall spring where you think it's starting to we'll have like one week of really nice warm weather and then we'll just go back to like cold <laughs> rainy horrible weather and I think we're all so ready for some warm, sunny weather that I always like, I always switch out my summer wardrobe way too early. So I need to not do that. I need to not do that this time. So yeah, I think this is really cute. They also had this in like a floral print as well. I think it was navy with pink roses, if that's your cup of tea. But I do think the paisley is a little bit more unusual. This is a gorgeous linen blend shirt in this beautiful mint green pinstripe i love this shirt and as soon as i'm finished filming i'm going straight upstairs to see if they just do it in a plain white i think 
I just love how big and oversized it is, especially with linen stuff. I do feel like brands often really skimp out on the material. Now I did obviously go for my bigger size here with a 26, 28. Um, I think I could have easily um, got away with a, a 22, 24, but I do also just like how loose and breezy it is. And I like how it's quite drapey, it's quite flattering. Also the length is really nice. And I just think shirts in general are super versatile. They're really easy to uh, wear in so many ways. You can obviously leave them buttoned up, but you can also wear them open, have a pop of color uh, with a t-shirt underneath. You can also use them as beach cover-ups or have them over a dress even. You can tie them up into a knot. Shirts are so versatile, but I do feel like as plus size people, we do maybe veer away from them just because if they're not big enough, you do get the gaping, especially if you are bigger chested. So I totally get uh, why sometimes we veer away from ordering and for trying them. This also has beautiful matching blue buttons, which are really nice. The only, the only thing is these, um, this, these cuffs are quite stiff. They're very stiff and starched cuffs um, and they are quite narrow they are fitting me fine but if you did have maybe slightly bigger wrists it could be getting a bit tight but apart from that i just love it and i feel like because it's a linen blend it's not going to crease as much so yeah i think this is fabulous and considering as well that this has just come out of a packet uh that's it's been folded up you wouldn't know and i love that so i'm hoping that this mom well, usually does this does it crease that much? It doesn't crease that much, you know, guys. I really like this, and I think getting this in white for the summer would be, yeah, chef's kiss, like, so nice. Yeah. But I also love the mint green stripe. Ooh, I love it. So I really want to get a light raincoat for spring. I have got, like, a really thick, like, padded, what do you call it? Padded? It's not the word. I've got like a thick winter waterproof-ish coat without a hood. Don't get me started. But I really like that for winter because it's very, very warm because it's like feather down. But as we're heading into April, I do want a more like lightweight rain jacket. Now, I don't know how rain repellent this is, but I will say I'm not going out in the rain without an umbrella. Um, I, I do like the colour of this. I think it's uh, really pretty and fresh, especially for spring. I also think this was like a really decent price. This is really nicely made. Uh, we do have uh, proper pockets, uh, both sides, nice and big ones as well. Uh, we've got a lovely zip. Let me zip this up so you can see. I did get a size up just because I always like to have room in my jackets if I want to like add a jumper or layer up underneath. I don't like jackets to be too tight. So it's got a fantastic, nice chunky zip. You've also got this little cover with poppers. You've also got this like sleeve detail. I feel like this is a really good quality coat for how much it is. But my question is, is this material actually is it waterproof? Is it water repellent? Or is it just a fabric? <laughs> is this just going to get absolutely soaked? I don't know. I don't think it's going to... I don't think it will tell me. It just says polyester. But that's what I think a raincoat would be anyway. I don't know, guys. So I might have a little look on the website or if you have this coat and you've experienced um, <laughs> experienced it in the rain, it also has a hood, uh, which is great, uh, which my winter coat is definitely lacking. And it's also a really nice length as well. So yeah, I think this coat is actually really, really nice. I think they also did it in gray, if you're not too much into this green. Uh, so yeah, I think I just need to do a bit of research to see if it is waterproof, but if it is, then I think this is a keep. Yours have this pattern in so many different pieces 
and I've always liked it, but I've never gone for it. But it, I did see it in this uh, like shirt dress and I thought this could be perfect for work. And I don't know why, but I feel like if you're a teacher, I feel like this would be really, really cute. This is a shirt um, dress style. So I did get it in a 26, 28. It is very adjustable in the waist. So I think I could have gone a size down. However, when I did try it on, I don't know if someone's tried it on before with me and they'd rolled the sleeves up really tight because it's got, um, where is it? Uh, can't find it. It's got one of those little things that you can like button up and roll the sleeves up. It was so tight I could barely get the dress on. Um, so yeah, the thing with yours when they do the um, the multi sizing, I want a 40, 24, 26. <laughs> that is my that's the the sizes that I kind of fall over so I always end up having to choose between a 22 24 and a 26 28 um I do think this fits nicely and obviously you do have the adjustable waistband so you can cinch it in um I think it is a more like polyester-y type material but it does actually feel like quite nice quality you have little black buttons down here i think this is perfect for workwear it's really really comfortable and i think it's just really fun for spring as well these kind of like doodled sketched flowers i just think are really cute i think they've got this in so many different pieces i think they've got trousers jeans i think they do have like a jersey dress as well if that's more your cup of tea which to be honest is probably more my cup of tea but i do just like showing you um alternatives and i know a lot of you out there work in an office and have to be a bit more formal i just like showing you a variety of things so yeah i think this is really really cute nice length yeah, I think if you like the look of it, I don't think you'd just be disappointed. She was a skater girl, she said the little bit, you wasn't good enough for her. <laughs> this is giving me Avril Lavigne, Tony Hawks, early 2000s skater chick realness. <laughs> I, I bought this purely for that. I just thought it was kind of iconic. I, I just remember wanting so badly to have these kind of like cool layered tees. And now here I am 20 years later. <laughs> and this one was definitely my favorite um, out of the designs. It was just quite simple. New York, 1989 with these little daisies. The only thing is I just wish the, like the fake sleeves they do go up quite a lot, actually. I wish they were just white rather than this weird beige colour. I also got this in a 22-24 and obviously like it fits. But I don't know if I'd want it maybe a bit more oversized. I mean, because I feel like this style, especially going for that kind of like skater boy aesthetic, is a bit more kind of like loose and baggy. But it is a bit loose and baggy. I will say I always like the quality of yours t-shirts. They always use a nice cotton, very, very soft, has a good bit of stretch. Um, and as far, mm, as far as I can see, the transfer is okay. I definitely wouldn't tumble dry this um, transfer though. I would definitely uh, dry this, air this. Uh, not in a tumble dryer but yeah I love I love the kind of like 90s skater vibes of the mock layered t-shirts I appreciate yours clothing trying something new doing something a bit trendy um yeah I just think it's fun and yeah it's nice to be part of those trends and obviously one of the best things about yours is they do go up into those higher sizes so it just makes it more available for everyone. I always keep my eye out for any new jersey dress prints, especially the short sleeve. They are my favorite because you can obviously pop a cardigan on uh, in the winter, but in the summer, they are just perfect and my go-to. So anytime a new design comes out that catches my eye, I always, always pick it up. 
these are my number one worn thing in my whole wardrobe um, I will always invest in them and it's always nice to have a fun new one to add so this one is really unusual it's black with this kind of like beigey grayey floral print I absolutely love the color scheme because it's a little bit more subdued a little bit more in that neutral kind of almost like influencer neutrals I do really like it but it's still like a bold fun print I also feel like as well you could definitely like dress this up if you're wanting to be comfortable for like a special event I think maybe if you did something maybe with like some pearls or something with a nice necklace and some like glam sandals you could totally get away with this for something a little bit more you know fancy i think it's a quite a sophisticated print i really like it i've got a handbag that i've just bought that i think will go really really nicely with this print i always get a 24 20 a 22 24 because i like it to be more fitting around here so it gives me some shape but i have loads of room still in the skirt i just think it looks really flattering and like fitted where I want it to be fitted but it obviously doesn't cling on to anything it's just my perfect sizing in the dresses and yeah I could go on and on and on and on and on about how much I love these dresses I think they um fall at a really great length for me they are a, what I would consider a proper like midi dress the sleeves are really really comfortable and there's great coverage as well especially if you are going somewhere hot and sunny and you want to protect uh, your shoulders in particular i just love these dresses they are great and yeah more patterns and designs please because i will be buying them all <laughs> i showed this jacket in a christmas gift giving guide and so many of you loved it but it sold out in a flash i myself wanted to get it and by the time i went to buy it it was also gone so they have restocked this jacket and i really wanted to pick it up to show you guys because so many of you guys were disappointed that you couldn't pick it up and I felt so bad but it's this really fun pink check tartan teddy bear coat I think it's a really reasonable price for what it is and um, it isn't lined it would be great if it was lined but you know I get it it's not too rough though it does feel like a semi decent you know sometimes I've had these teddy bear jackets that haven't been lined and they feel horrific uh, this one doesn't actually feel too bad uh, and we do also have some pockets so i would rather have pockets than the lining i get really annoyed and upset when there is no pockets or lining so we do have pockets it's very very warm i will tell you that now uh, especially as this is one of the last things i'm trying on um it's, it's always a bit of a workout trying stuff on so yeah I just think it's really fun so you've got um pink baby blue you've got kind of like a an orangey yellow and black if you love color and having fun with color i think this is a really fun piece to add to your wardrobe it feels quite lazy oaf it feels quite trendy um, and quite different from yours and i feel like it's a great price as well so yeah if you're into something a bit more like unique and different this is definitely a piece to try out i would definitely size up though because it is this is a 26 28 and like i don't see a 28 doing this up so if you want to do it up maybe or if you especially want to put jumpers and stuff underneath definitely consider sizing up but it's very very warm very very soft cuddly and cozy and yeah i just think the colors um the style is so so different and yeah i really really like it and yeah let's hope to see more kind of different and unusual stuff coming out of yours because i feel like they're definitely trying to push the boat out here and there and i'm really enjoying it so guys that is the end of today's video let me know what you thought of everything down below in the comments will you be picking anything up has anything piqued your interest do let me know of course give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you've got this far i say it every time if you got this far and you still haven't subscribed yet now is the time to click that button and don't forget to ring the bell as well and i'll see you all very soon bye